In this video, we're going to discuss open in different modes, uh, read, write, append, and we're also going to discuss the write method. So here we have variable f out, file out, open, the file name, and then the mode. And in this case, it's going to w for write. Now, before we run this, if the file already exists, open it will in write mode clears out the old data. So it's like keeping the file object there, removing the data from it. So be careful. If the file doesn't exist, a new one is created. Well, let's take a look at this. So we're in our directory of L L7, right? Class output, class, this is alphabetical. Class output does not exist. We're going to go ahead and open it in write mode, print F out. I'm going to hit F5. It's going to run. And here you see the files open with a zero kilobit. So it's a brand new file ready to rock and roll. Now we're going to jump right into the write method. I'm going to copy this first line. There's our variable, right? Just a string, line one. And now I'm going to call on the open file, f out dot write method, line one. Get a 25 back. We'll talk about that in a second. But then if we go look at our file, it's still set to zero. Well, that's because it hasn't been committed. The changes to the file are in memory, and we haven't used this method down here yet, close, to commit the, what, the changes that we want to write. So let's finish up writing a second line first. Line two, we'll do this. Now we got a 40 back, and now we're gonna look at our file again and it's still at zero. Well, now we're going to close it. I'm going to do uh, f out dot close, open close. Now it's closed, and now we see it, the size change to one kilobyte. So that file also is closed to Python right now. So let's take a look at our file. And it worked exactly as designed. Our first line, our second line. Excellent. Right? Let's take a look at it moving forward, right? So what happened there? It created the file because it didn't exist. It made it available. It opened it in write mode to Python. And then we're able to throw strings in a variable and write those strings from top to bottom to that new file. Awesome. So now we know how to write data, right? That's super handy. What do we got here? Okay, right, multiple lines. Okay, so multiple lines is kind of fun. Because a couple things you could do here, right? Here's the list. So we're going to create a list of one, two, and three. Call it my list. All right, and now we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to call it output two. And we know that file doesn't exist because we have class output and we don't have two. So we're going to create the file and set it in write mode. And then here we're going to use the another method called write lines. And we're going to say F out. So for my file that's open, method write lines, my list. Cool. We'll see how it treats it, right? Then, of course, we'll f out dot close. And we see that the file is created. It's one kilobyte. So, kind of cool. It wrote the data to the file, but it didn't do new lines. Right? So, kind of cool, kind of not. Right? Helpful. You got the data stored in a file, but it's not really usable. So, let's take a look. Right? So, here... We're going to open it in read mode, and now we're going to read it. Okay, so we're not going to go ahead and uh, write it yet in different lines, but check this out. We're going to open it, and this method right here is in read mode. And then we're just going to say, for each line in our file, print the line. Okay, cool. So let me grab that. Okay, so now it's open in read mode. 
and we're going to say for line in f out and we're going to say print line right there we go we have the one line that we committed to our new file helpful right sort of extremely helpful i was kidding it's insanely helpful so let's check this out so now we're going to um create a file called append and we're going to have some fun with uh, some lyrics of i'm a lumberjack and i'm okay song so just cut and paste this now you notice this file append i'm going to paste it here but i'm not going to run it yet the append.txt file does not exist so open's going to create it and it's going to create it and open it in append mode Let's see what that does. Boom, right? Append, okay. Zero, it's now created. Eh, we don't have to print it, but we'll do it. So we print F out. We see that it's in append mode, right? It's good to go. So same thing here. I'm gonna throw a variable called line with some text. We're gonna call it our file. We're gonna write the line. Okay, got our 18. That's characters, by the way. And let's close it. Right? If I close, we go back to our file. We see it's one kilobyte. We open it. We got, I'm a lumberjack. Awesome. Let's go and work with that file now. So we're going to reopen it in append mode. Right? So we opened append in append mode, and now we're going to write, and I'm okay to it. Now, the file already existed, and we opened it in append mode, so it didn't clear out the contents. If you were to do write mode, we'll test that next. We'll see if it clears out the contents. So, and I'm okay, and if we do f out read lines... Oh, what happened there? F out, read lines. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, it's still open. F out, that close. Let's go check that sucker out real quick. So now we have our two. And that should be good to go, right? Now, let's open it in write mode and add something, right? We'll just change this to write. We'll say line, um, doesn't really matter, equals test. And now what? Of course, we need to write it, right? So we opened it, f out, dot, write. Now we're going to throw our variable in there of line, hit enter, f out, dot, close. I already had it open, which is probably a bad idea, but we'll see. So you see that what we originally stated that if you open it in write mode and the file already exists, it clears out the contents. Because we had, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay in here, but I reopened that file and not append mode, but write mode. And I sent test to it and closed it, write and closed, and I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay, it's gone. So we proved our hypothesis of what we believe to be true from our opening statement. So what did we cover in this um, particular video? We covered a bunch of different methods, right? We covered write, close, um, how to take list items and throw them into a text file, uh, write lines. We used the, um, what else did we use? A bunch of different uh, fun methods here. We used the write, read, and append, which is super handy, right? And we also proved that if you open a file that already exists and write, it removes the contents. So there'll be more to follow.